Hi, Debbie Abels. This is the Simply Put segment. We're back at Tina Simpson's Infinity Laser, and this time we're going to do something really rocking. We're going to actually talk about Mindy Mayo and her um, permanent makeup, which is something I personally am very interested in, so I'm going to be asking you tons of questions, Mindy. And then we have all three have had parts done, and they're going to explain to us what parts they've had done <laughs> and why they look so good, which is why I want to get it done, and you all will too. So let's start, Tina. Well, I'm the one that started all this mess. That's right. That's how I started getting this business was part of makeup. That's, Seriously? Yes. You start to be in high maintenance, so you just don't like that. <laughs> so, high maintenance, that's so us. I started out with my eyes. <laughs> okay. And I absolutely love it. I'm horrible with putting eyeliner on. Horrible. So that was the first thing I did. I'm like, okay, I'll do my eyes. So I did my eyes. Did you do the top and the bottom? Top and the bottom. Okay. Top and the bottom. Some people like it lighter, some people like it darker. Actually, the friend of mine that went with me, she said she wanted lighter. I said I wanted darker. We actually flip-flopped. Okay. Mine looks better than hers. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be afraid to go darker because you want if you're going to pay that much money for it, you want to be able to see that you've got some eyeliner on. So I personally like it darker. Now let me ask you, how do you decide what color? That's where Mindy comes in. Okay. Play. Mindy, she's very good about helping you with the colors. Okay. So Mindy, Mindy helps a lot with that. So that that's all I can tell you on that. We got to talk to Mindy on that one. Perfect. And I'm, going, and I'm going to because I have a couple of reasons why. But I want she's to not help finished with me yet. <laughs> she's not. What all else are you going to have? And done? then I had my lips done. Okay. Absolutely. Because that goes back to I went to put every time I had lipstick on, I'd have it on my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, I'd have it on my teeth. So now, girl, all I can I'll do is get up and go, and I'm ready. Go to the lake, you don't have to worry about it, you got your lip dry on, let's go. You right. got tan, you don't need makeup. Now, you didn't have your eyebrows done because you don't need to since you've got dark right, eyebrows. Right, right. But time, as time goes by, and you yeah, probably will need to because yeah. they all start <laughs> thinning, they start falling out. I mean, you can color them if you change your hair color, but then they start to get thin and you need to get a little yes. bit of shadowy put in there. I know that. Yeah, and we can talk a little bit about how it feels okay okay many cringes when i say this okay but my own personal opinion i want you to be prepared i think it hurts okay okay so i'm going to tell somebody if you've got a pain pill take it <laughs> because my pain tolerance is not that much she's going to be doing it for two hours now jenna nicole she didn't think it hurt that bad but i say take a pain pill <laughs> now i do want to preface this she also has the sweet little soft rubby massage as opposed to getting in there and really working exactly. it. Exactly. I like to be pampered. Okay. <laughs> so it probably doesn't hurt near as much to the average person. You're just a princess. Everybody's and I will different. tell you, everybody's, everybody's different. different. When it's the best money that you'll ever spend is we have a dentist that will numb your lips. You Perfect. feel nothing with that, so you don't have to take a pain pill on that. Do you go there to get them yes. done? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's local right that's here local. in Bargetown? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Jenna Nicole? I know that you have had. Look at this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't done in a couple of months, but you call your name. <laughs> I've got to tell you, the reason I asked Jenna to be here is because we had your open house. And Mindy was here, and I was asking Mindy, well, who all has had permanent makeup, blah, blah, blah. And everyone that was in the room that I thought their makeup looked great had had it done. And I was shocked because it looks so natural. Your eyes look natural, your lips look natural. But you've got eyes and you've got lips. Okay. And see, you were the same way. But just, it, there were like four or five girls and every one of them stepped forward because you were shy and wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> and they were saying, well, Mindy did this for me and Mindy did this for me. And I mean, and I would have never known. And that's, so, a, that's, 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 that's what you want. That's exactly what you want. You don't want to look like, oh, you've had your eyes tattooed. No, you want it to look right. natural. Well, Jenna, tell us about your experience and what you've had done. Well, I've had my eyes done and I've had my lips done. I got them both done at the same time um, because unlike mom going in with her eyes first and then her lips, I don't do very well with eyeliner either. But my biggest problem was putting lipstick on and then three seconds later, it was on my Diet Coke can. And so it was off and there was no point. So I did them both at the same time, thought I'd get them done and get it easy. And although mom pointed out that she's a princess and it hurt her, when I got the dental block done, I really fell asleep on Mindy when she did my lips. So your eyes don't get as much pain <clears throat> relief as your lips do, but the dental block is definitely worth it. And it doesn't hurt as much when you do that. So now you were saying you might thicken your 
I eyes. like picking my eyes. Um, when we did it the first time, I was really nervous and didn't know how it was going to look. And so Mindy told me, go conservative and we'll figure it out from there. And so I was just telling her 30 seconds ago that I think I might want to darken my eyes just a little bit. Hence, go darker instead of lighter because <laughs> you will be happy. That's a, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Take off one more. <laughs> well, that's any girl, don't you think? <laughs> You know, there's some people that they don't I try to give people what they want you know mm-hmm. if they want a light and, and a lot of times like she says they do come back and they want more darker uh, well and Mindy your eye color your personal eye color is really really light it's a really really light green and I can tell you that your eyeliner and, and what you've got going there really make your eyes pop so I'm sure you know you can tell us a little bit about your personal experience what made you choose what you chose um, I try to pick an eye color, oh, an eye color, a color for people that will won't be too stark or too drawn on looking, um, and that does kind of draw the color out and the natural beauty. Um, and, you know, and I like people to um, show me what they wear. Um, and some people like Jenna. I don't think you you didn't wear eyeliner before, did you? Mm-mm. No, she okay. didn't. Okay. So you know, we did a more conservative with her, and you know because I didn't want her to freak out. Right. Like, wow. And with my lips, so. you looked at the book and picked out a color, and then afterwards I handed you lips like I was wearing, and it happened to be the same it, color. Yeah, really. really close. It worked it out really good. Really Do yeah. you uh, recommend maybe if you see somebody's makeup in a magazine or something of that nature to maybe bring that in as a guideline as to what they may be thinking about? Maybe not necessarily with the colors, but, you know, a thick, a thin, a a little bit of a line out you know some people like that kind of look as opposed to just having a little bit more of a natural kind of feel how do you feel about that um anything that will help me kind of judge what their style is you know okay. everybody's different um, some people just want upper eyeliner some people want both tina wants everything <laughs> <laughs> well you know we were talking earlier can you get cheeks done because i mean a lot of people have beautiful beautiful skin and then maybe don't want to wear a lot of foundation or anything and just want a little bit of a hint of a blush or a a, a little bit of a rosy cheek can you um, do that you can do that uh you can do cheek color and you also can do eyeshadow um i haven't done those yet but i like that i have no see i'd be thinking for the eyeshadow oh concept, i know what you need I to like tell shadow. them you need to tell them about uh when people uh take out <laughs> <laughs> when they have a, a mastectomy I wondered about that, yes. Uh, I didn't know how to exactly approach it, but I did wonder about that as well. Did that you know that? That's did you know that? And I went, oh, shoot, how am I going to do this? Yeah, now? Because that's, but you know, that's a very valid point, uh, you know, about tattoo as such. The, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, areola. Areola, that's the word. Repigmentation after uh, a woman has had a mastectomy. Right. Um, I don't know even if some people know that they can have that done. Um, I doubt it. I, I don't I think a lot that. of people know mm-hmm. it. And and I did know it from a previous friend who did have it. Um, but that is something that I personally would like to um, offer, especially to women that maybe don't have insurance coverage or for some reason they think they can't have it done. Um, I would be happy and honored to... Um, that's nice, Mindy. That's very nice. I tell you, we, we may make a mention of that in our paper. Um, show them your face and your beautiful uh, makeup as well, because really you don't have that much makeup on. It's more the, the, the liner on all these girls looks great. While you're, you're looking in the camera, I want to ask you a couple of questions about me. The reason, one of the reasons that I want to have it done is because I noticed as you get older, and I'm creeping up there, that your lips get thinner. And you don't have any all of a sudden. One day you've got these beautiful lush lips and the next day you don't have any. And then you're trying to do what you said, which is put more uh, lipstick on. And then you try to rim them a little bit. And then all of a sudden you look down and the only part you've got is this rim and no lip. And you really look like a clown that way. (laughs) And then two, I was in a, a car accident when I was 17 and I had some eye surgery. And I have one eye that is kind of a little bit of a lazy eye look compared to the other. And so there, there's not an evenness to the two. Don't do a close-up on me, Beth, because everybody will see it. 
<laughs> but this one is truly that way. I had a whole lot of surgery done on this side, and most people don't realize it that much. But I like to get this eye more evened. I've had all the surgery I can have on it, but there's like this jerk up in the middle of it, and I'd like to round it out a little bit like this other, and I think that the tattooing aspect of it, permanent makeup, would take care of it for me for good. So uh, well, you and I are gonna talk later. Well, I, and I will need to look at you. Uh, scar revision is something else that we have not talked about. Um, okay, tell me about that. Um, if you have, um, in particular, an old scar, you know how they're kind of thick, oh, yeah. and it'll pull the skin in? Mm -hmm. You can, and this is with no pigment. Like, I, would, I don't do camouflage because skin right. changes, and I, I don't do that. Um, but you can take the machine and run over that, and in a lot of people, it'll, it'll soften that up. It'll release it enough so, so it's not pulling So are you telling me you can get rid of my scars? I've had it since <laughs> I was 13, baby. We'll let you know on that one. <laughs> <laughs> We've learned something new today. <laughs> I did not know this. <laughs> See? Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. you need to let people know. And we will definitely let them know more about it in the Simply Put newspaper as well. about it in the in the Simply Put newspaper as well. I know that Mindy brought uh, some before and afters. Needless to say, we can't go through the whole book while we're on camera, but I'm sure she'd share them with you if you make an appointment and come by and see. We're gonna let Beth kind of draw in from the camera a little bit closer, but we have a few that we think are really worth looking at. And Mindy, tell us what we're looking at as we are looking at it. Um, this is another lady that did not wear eyeliner, um, but she's outdoors all the time. And she said she just felt like tired looking or yeah. whatever so um she went upper and lower okay and so that's what we did and that really frames her um uh, her brown eyes you can really see a difference when you're looking at it here in person but i do think it'll come across on the camera for you that you'll be able to tell that it really makes a huge difference and then i know we've got a couple more that were really more. outstanding this one's great um this is a young lady that has her eyeliner and her lips done this is her um here and this is her lips close up and see the, the lips, lips look pretty. just as natural great color now see you're a little bit on the pinky rosy side and she may be a little bit she's a little bit darker little a little bit darker little. but they look great and you can see lips which mm -hmm. is really good well and she has a really big smile and her thing was her upper lip yeah. seemed to be kind of straight and she felt like she couldn't see it when she smiled so didn't it kind have of the bow her. yeah the mm -hmm. little bow mm -hmm. part I think that makes a huge difference it really <laughs> pops that little bow out and I'm a terrible photographer as Tina will tell you this is this is uh, I try to pull this close up and it's yeah, it's devil eyes. See the devil eyes but just to show she um she just wants upper eyeliner she doesn't wear any lower eyeliner and she wanted it pretty thick it looks good so and you know it's got, got a little bit more of that cold kind of look the smoky eye on the corners which is what I'm interested in I like that kind of look it kind of I don't know. Everybody's got their own taste in makeup, mm -hmm. don't they? They really yes, do. Yes, they do. Um, this lady was an older lady. Yeah. She's mid, late 60s. Um, and she has blue. This is blue eyeliner. Okay. Uh, we kind of went with that. It's a little softer. Kind of if you have a blue eyes like this Jen <laughs> over there. Um, that kind of, it really brought her eyes out. She's fair, blonde hair. Um, and she loves it because she could not see to get her eyeliner on. That is uh, one she, thing, yeah. Happens to you when you get older. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a 3X mirror that you're trying to put in with your glasses at the end of your nose. Beth, you know what I'm talking about. And, and you're trying to get around the glasses to do it. I thought this was a great uh, view right here. Uh, one of the questions people always have about lips, you know, how does it feel? What's it going to look like? Uh, lips are very different. Um, this is a before picture. This is immediately after. So you do have some swelling. And the color that you see is not the color that heals. Okay. So this is her healed up. It looks so great though. See. I think it looks good even with them like this. You really look like- She kind of liked that puffed up. She had a few little She looked like she had, she, uh, what is it? Collagen? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Lisa, uh, who is that girl? There, Lisa so Renna. Yeah, Lisa Renna. Yeah. She's really got yeah, those pumped too. up, doesn't she? Which is a little bit too much. But really what I have noticed is that I think it's a real compliment to you that the people that I saw and have seen that I have now know you had done work on them. 
I never knew it before. It looked very much like a very nice, soft, natural makeup work, like what you have, and like what you have. And I think that goes to a lot to your uh, expertise. Mindy, how long have you been doing this? Um, almost six years. Okay. That's it, really? Really? Oh. Mindy was my first person. This, really? They came on board with me. I did not yes. realize that. Six I years. was going to say four. You know, you're like this past as you buy it. That's great. Six years. That's great. And Mindy is, a, she won't say it, but Mindy is a perfectionist. You know, you'll look at it and you'll think, oh, it looks great. But if Mindy looks at it, she'll go, oh, I need to tweak this. <laughs> just so a Mindy does a fabulous job. <laughs> she just really, she, she likes what she's doing and she does a very good job. And she's going to make sure it's done right. Well, and if someone's interested, I know you've got some specials going, and we're here sitting here in this beautiful Christmas setting in the front office, <laughs> which we've never shown up in front of But um, how do they, they call here and make an appointment with you, but I know that your, your hours are kind of limited as to when you're here, am I right? Yes, I'm here um, some Fridays. And do you know what Fridays you're going to be here in December? Um, I have some dates down, but I don't have the 14th. Okay. Um, and I think the 27th. Okay, okay, so what we're, the special that we're going to have, if you schedule, if you call and you schedule on the 14th or the 27th of December, then you get $100 off. That's pretty huge. That's huge. That's so, good. That's you know, good. But you have to right. schedule on one of those two days. Okay. And you also, well, if you know about it, then you're going to, you, you just have to tell us that you saw the Simply Put segment. That's perfect. Yeah. And we will be posting this in the newspaper, uh, in your ad. Uh, I think we've already gone for this Friday, so it'll be next Friday when we first start. But I'll make sure that they know, Mindy, and we'll have um, the telephone number here, and you can call ahead, and somebody here will register you and get you going with it. We are thrilled to be here. We're going to do our wrap-up. This is, finally, I think we've made our way through all the services on yes, Heavenly. Yes, we have. But we we'll have. be doing our wrap-up, I think, around the 10th of December, about middle of the year, uh, middle of the month, rather, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> at the end of the year, middle of the month. And uh, go th uh, have everybody here and, and have them all just kind of tell you one more time what they well, do and yeah. what all the services we have. And because we have, I mean, between Infinity Laser and Envy, right. we have everything that you possibly need. And the services have grown since we started this. I mean, we keep adding and adding. So when Tina comes in and has... I think I've reached my limit. I think, I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate y'all being on camera with us and certainly working us through. And Mindy, I'm going to make an appointment with you and have you tell me what I need to do. There is one question I do need to ask, and I'll finish with this. When you're deciding, like, what kind of eye color or whatever to put on someone, if it's somebody like me who changes their hair color on a regular basis, <laughs> it's been blonde. It's originally was black, then it went gray. So then, let's Don't see. Don't tell about me, Tina. <laughs> Put a little bit of brown in it, and then the next thing you know, I had a little bit of burgundy stripes running through it, and then I have been blonde, I've been red, and now I'm back to kind of about the color that I was naturally with some highlights. But I'd like to do something that I know will work with all of those tones, because you never know when you, what you're going to do as we get older. And shadow and stuff like that, I know you can change. Let me see your eyes. I know, what, I know what color brown. I would say. Go ahead, Mindy. <laughs> I'll tell you what I think. I always say, whatever Tina says. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever Tina says. I'm going to go with the sagey color. Sagey brown. Sagey brown. Bit. That's what I've got with. I See, I wonder about it. charcoal or I something. I have to get you down and... You'll have to you, you're dark. thinking darker. You Do you wear darker now? Oh, yeah. Okay. I like, well, I like dark, go. smoky eye. That's what you'd go with. And that's what, you know, just like you said, and she's going to talk to you. She's yeah. going to get your feedback because she, we want it to look like what you naturally, what you wear. Right. So if you always have on dark eyeliner, that's what she's going to do. Well, and I like the idea that you could do a shadow look. Now, that's something I didn't know. See, I knew about the other stuff, but I didn't know about that. And that is very interesting to me. Something else we didn't touch on is eyebrows. Like when you get, like, what were yes. you so You did. But like when you get older and you, you lose your done. eyebrows. Yeah. That, and I mean, you have had yours done, right? Yes. I have the hair strokes too, so there's different, uh, you know, the solid feel or hair I like the hair strokes. Yeah. I like the hair strokes. It, I, it, to me, it's more natural looking. Mm -hmm. but some people are used to solid feel, and so that's what you want. That's All right, want. give me an idea about how long can somebody figure on being here if they had their lips done, about how long it might take. Um, it's probably around three hours. Yeah. Okay. That's a good, that's a good and yeah. what if it's your, just your eyes? You have the eyes, let's say top and bottom. Um, eyebrows and or eyebrow, eyebrows or eyeliner, either one, probably two at least. Okay, so lips really take longer. Yes, it's a bigger area. Bigger area. And it's 
more vascular, you know. Okay. And is it something that you have to get touched up regularly or what? What do you recommend? Um, you do, or you will probably need a touch up, but with that, everybody's different. Um, okay. Fair skinned people seem to need one more often than people with a darker skin. Okay. And if you're like me, look, they're calling right now. There you go, buddy. <laughs> If you're like me, like, oh, I want more color. I want more color because it's the same thing with your eyes. Yeah. You start out, you're like, oh, I don't want to go too much. Right. But then I start out with my lips. I said, I want it to look natural. Perfect. And I, so I, I made it look natural. Then I went, no, I want more color. Okay. So then this, I've done it three times. I'm like, Mindy, I want it to look like I have lips all the time. All the time. So I, I that's, I, I want So just darker. a little tweaking yep. here or there. And that's exactly right. Now. And it has a lady that came in and said, I want lips just, just like, like her. <laughs> See? See, that's what I was going to say. Well, all the ones that I saw at the open house really looked good. And uh, it definitely goes to, like I say, to your expertise. We are thrilled to have been here. We appreciate all y'all watching the series. And tune in about the middle of December, and we'll do a wrap-up. Uh, I think we're the first uh, place to ever uh, do an on-site where we actually showed everything but the permanent makeup uh, as far as actually being um, applied. You know, and yeah, and, that and was with the that real was customer. Be, right. That's going to be a little bit different. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that we didn't say is her prices. If you go onto the website, yeah. go to infinitylaserbargetown.com, <laughs> and all of her prices are on there. Or if you just want to call me, it's 502 350 4556, and uh, I can tell you the prices on that. And, uh, and they're know. located at uh, Keystone Cinemas on Keystone Avenue, uh, right off of the uh, Highway 150 bypass. So thanks for coming. Thank you, babe. You look mm -hmm. great. And we're thrilled to have brought it to you tonight.